25 reasons why Jesus is false. Reason number 17. Jesus was an alcoholic and obese. He was not slim and trim as the images like to portray him. You can't Photoshop clear descriptive text. Just read Luke chapter 7 verse 34. The Son of Man is come eating and drinking, and ye say, Behold, a gluttonous man and a wine-bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners. Let's read what the scriptures say about drinking. Proverbs 23 and 19. Hear thou my son, and be wise, and guide thine heart in the way. Be not among wine-bippers, among righteous eaters of flesh. For the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty, and drowsiness shall clothe of man with rags. No surprise they depict Jesus wearing rags all the time. Fact, a high priest, a king, leader of the people, should not lead nor preach scriptures while drinking wine. What kind of example do you think that would be? This is why the Proverbs 31 woman said this. Proverbs 31 verse 4. It is not for kings, O lay mule. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink, lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. So Lemuel was of the tribe of Judah. So his mother gave him good advice not to drink wine, because kings cannot drink wine. They would pervert the judgment if they did. You don't think wine had an effect on Jesus? Isaiah 28 verse 7 says it did. But they also have erred through wine and through strong drink, are out of the way. The priest and the prophets have erred through strong drink. They are swallowed up of wine. They are out of the way through strong drink. They erred in vision. They stumbled in judgment. The problem is they're trying to fit Jesus into scriptures. Genesis 49 verse 11 through 12 speaks of the tribe of Judah and they want to forced Jesus into that so they they made him drink a lot of wine according to the way they depicted him but they forgot about these scriptures there's so many scriptures speaking of people who are going to be king or priest they should not drink and I'm going to continue with it Proverbs 20 verse 1 wine is a mocker strong drink is raging and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise so while you may think I'm poking fun at Jesus, it's because wine is a mocker. I can't poke fun at Jesus. I didn't write the New Testament. I'm just reading you what the scripture says. I mean, I can't help it how you receive it. It's comical to think he looked like this, but this is what the scriptures say. Not only did they say the Son of Man came drinking and eating, but Jesus gave lots of wisdom concerning wine. This showed how much drinking he did. Luke 5, verse 37 to 39. And no man put it new wine into old bottles, else the new wine will burst the bottles and be spilled, and the bottles shall perish. But new wine must be put into new bottles, and both are preserved. No man having drunk old wine straight away desireth new, for he saith, the old is better. So he was professional when it came to wine. He knew what kind of bottles to put in. He knew the quality of the wine. Old is better. He was a very experienced drinker. Mark chapter 14, verse 23 through 24. And he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank of it. And he said unto them, This is my blood of the New Testament which is shed for many. Verily I say unto you, I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine until the day that I drink it new in the kingdom of God. So he was so committed 
to his cause that he was going to stop drinking. According to all the scriptures of Jesus drinking wine, this must have been a struggle for him and a shock to the disciples. Also read Luke chapter 10, starting from verse 30, concerning the parable of the Good Samaritan. Jesus tells how wine can cure a wound. You can read other scriptures concerning wine, Isaiah 5 and 22. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine, and men of strong drink to mingle strong drink. Hosea 4 and 11. Whoredom and wine and new wine take away the heart. Proverbs 21 and 17. He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. Judges 13 and 4. Now therefore beware, I pray thee, and drink not wine nor strong drink, and eat not anything unclean. So scripture upon scripture upon scripture upon scripture, drinking is not something a king, a priest, or a prophet should be doing. The issue is them trying to trick you into believing that the king of Judah should be drinking wine to the magnitude that Jesus drank, making all these parables of wine and and stories and and miracles of wine bringing wine making wine at the wedding i mean he even had power to make wine i mean good grief how much wine does jesus need how much force do we need to have to stick him in the scriptures and, and make sure we know he's judah just because genesis 49 says judah um would wash his clothes in wine and and would be drinking wine that's the tribe of judah it's a last day prophecy for the tribe. A king should not drink. This is not a good example. I mean, are you not surprised Jesus didn't speak against drinking wine? But throughout the scriptures, I'm sure you could find more if you search. Wine is not something you should be promoting people to do. Yes, it's not a sin to drink wine. It's all in moderation. But a king, a priest, someone you know, coming in the name of the Most High should not come drinking. If you're going to be a judge, you cannot drink. You're going to pervert judgment. Even now, even in our times, you can't drink and drive. Everybody knows, even someone who hasn't picked up the scriptures, that you shouldn't be drinking. But this is what Jesus promoted. This is the real image of Jesus. He was a fat person who drank too much. This is reason number 17, why Jesus is false. He promoted gluttony and drinking wine. Know the truth. Let it set you free. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, hurting, subscribe, and turn on notifications for new videos. If you are blessed and enjoyed this topic and like my style of teaching the word of Yah, support me on Patreon. I can't continue making videos and posts without the support of my Patreon. Patreons also get special perks and more information. See the link on the information tab. Shalom and Yah bless.